what's good? Welcome back to Don't Flop Leeds. We are one week away from the seventh birthday of Don't Flop. We had to come back to Leeds as our birthdays in London. Leeds City, are we still fucking active? Make some noise. Let's go. <laughs> Shouts to Peace Soldier, shouts to all my Leeds crew in the building. We had to bring it back to Leeds, they're always supporting. We are at the a cappella rap battle main event of this Leeds event. We didn't even give it a name, we're just coming reviving the Leeds team. We're gonna be back in 2016, it's gonna be fucking crazy. MC on my right hand side, straight into the battle. My man Matt, I made some fucking noise. <laughs> you know, and absolute killer on my left hand side, Harry Baker, make some noise. Let's go. Uh, flipped or were you not? Or yeah, yeah. Matt's foot? It's on me. Alright, cool. Final a cappella battle of this revival number three event in Leeds. Shouts to everybody in Leeds showing love. It's on my man Matt around number one. Let's oh, go. Man. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Skibbity bop. <laughs> Skibbity bop bop bop. How many poets does it take to change a light bulb? Four. One to change a light bulb. And free to make it seem a lot more complicated than it actually is. <laughs> Skibbity ba ba ba. <laughs> you know what rhymes with Harry Baker? Massive Faker. What? <laughs> massive Faker? Yeah. Alright, Harry Baker is a massive Faker. <laughs> Bars. See, <laughs> you have a swag that says, I did my dissertation on battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking poet. But you can hear that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. No, no, that's exactly what I'm mad at. See, I know in these rap battles, the art of rapping's on its closing scene. I've seen the scene cut from its roots and try branch out with the poetry. Well, fuck that. I don't care how many Radio 4 co-signs Harry's riding. I don't care how much hype you got off of poems about manly crying. See, Matter's writing represents humanity's last horizon. The way I'm consuming tiny humans, you can't attack the titan. And if you're the last surviving, I gotta paralyze him. First pro punches and I'm not talking about battle rhyming. Yo, you'd have a better chance of asking Trident for a gang consignment. Agonizing, yo, agonizing torture won't make the news. I brought the gag for silence. See this battle shit? Ain't getting him any higher. And position is important when defending enemy fire. Get out of place, there'll be many medics required. I harass the poet, that's Benjamin Zephaniah. Yeah. Yo, Jesus, Jesus. Yo, let me kill him quick. Boy, I'm too ill to quit. Yo, Earth stole my hood pass. But yo, P, am I still legit? Yo, 100%, bro. All right, let me kick this shit. Yo, I'll catch Harry walking home from a non-gender specific poetry reading on a dark night. <laughs> Run upon him and split his yo. <laughs> live live winner play, live winner play. Yo, run upon him and split his opinions like Marmite. Leave him separated like citizens in apartheid. I call my gun Sally, cause when Harry met Sally, we saw sparks fly. Oh, I'll pull up and get the long nose out the back, homie. That's archaic. <laughs> you, ain't even met, yo, you ain't even met the evil shit. It's out of the dark ages. Got reinforcements creeping forward in their cars waiting. Soon you'll see more beams than an Amish family barn raising. Boy, boy, you can't, you can't blend into the background. Try running, I'll give you backgrounds. Miss first time, I'm swinging background. Painting pictures with the pipe like Gandalf. Boy, I bet in school, your best friends were the teachers. I'm cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm cold blooded. Must be why I'm always next to the heater. Remember when. <laughs> Yo, remember when Osh told you he had the Colombian round hair like Carlos Valderrama? And you were, yeah, big bar. And you were thinking, could, you were thinking, can it get any deeper? Well, the answer's yes, because my Colombian got a crazy kick like the legendary keeper Rene Higuita. <laughs> People had him catching the dub. I'm like, what a joke, me? I'll butcher Baker just to rock the boat. Stop acting like such a massive gangster. You ain't fooling anyone. Only Harry that runs with animals is Henderson. Two bar combos, even battered and dazed. I'll push Harry around like Shaq in the paint. Oh, you know that one, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you strike me as the snitch on the guy growing weed next door type. <laughs> Yo, 
You used your real name to battle. That's how I know that you're the fall guy. See, we all use aliases because we're on the run from the law, right? Yeah? Boy, for standing by your government, you're getting stuck with some war crimes. Slogan. Let's go and make some fucking noise. Alright, first off I need to address Jay Dillon calling me out. Ooh. If you don't believe it, I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> See, I figured it's a birthday, right? Yeah. Almost, it's a week away. So I get started with some party shit. Got a gift for the big man on that past the parcel tip. Tied it in a bow and covered it in shiny stars and shit. So if we're talking wrapping presents, you'd have known half of it. And you said that my poetry readings are non gender specific. No, you, didn't. you said my poetry readings are non gender specific. That's not true. Because I get plenty of bitches. Ah. I'd just like to apologise to the poetry community for my use of the word bitch. Because when it comes to friendly southern poets, I'm a monstrosity. <laughs> Ain't pushing mixtapes, I am shotting anthologies. <laughs> and even Andrew Webber hasn't ever seen a cat so clever, no one rapping better. I'm the magical Mr. Mustopheles. <laughs> In judge battles, I get five O's like proto zoology. <laughs> Honestly, your head looks like a golf ball on its tee. <laughs> Honestly, when did Abe get lost on his odyssey? Because <laughs> you look like a default character on the Wii. character on the Wii that wanted to be Henri but would succumb to Henri and he realised his whole life that he'd be playing tennis on repeat. <laughs> Unevolved glue means his head retains that oddish gleam. Cause blood, you look like a turtle. <laughs> a turtle? An owl, I mean a turtle. <laughs> I mean, I sort of see you as tortoisey, turtly, or some combination of the two, I'm not totally sure. <laughs> but that does explain his horrible tone, and why he'll never murk the set. My man is literally flowing with a permanent turtle head. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't beat poets just by rocking a turtleneck. <laughs> see, I heard you and Luna met on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> On the forum exchanging neck tips. <laughs> we invited you back to his to chill and watch Netflix. <laughs> Made a drink. Nectar. <laughs> Next bit. Next bit. <laughs> this is where the trend hits compared to Luna, your neck shit. <laughs> Still, I know you got boys in Bradford, right? The place the news would have the terror pinned. Slow it down, I said Matter and his boys are terrapins. <laughs> but I respect that turtle life, man. I'm about it as well. My last few battles, I've been slowly coming out of my shell. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got great things ahead of me. Gone overseas to rep the league. It's destiny, I want a Bagnall's favourites, man. I'm 23. You look like how I felt when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> And ever since it's got confirmed, and I've seen geeky motherfuckers, I've thought, he could be your brother, 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 could be your brother she could be your mother. And if you want something to do this next round when you get bored with his lyrics, Google Robin Hood, Toby Turtle, and tell me I ain't the spitting image. <laughs> Time. Hey, make some noise for Harry, let's go! Yo, take that, bro. Don't have it. It's round two. About to give this clown hell. He called me a turtle. Generic gun line about shells. Spoken word. Already. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no punchline. Already heads are dropping from boredom. Well, not me. I think spoken word is proper important. I used spoken word to order a coffee this morning. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now you're the type of guy that rates Biggie, but got a couple problems with him. He's like, I think I'd like him more if he toned down all that pop the biscuit and if he was a teeny little bit less misogynistic. <laughs> you pussy. Your fan, <laughs> your fan base is Christian youth workers. <laughs> I put it blunt like that. That's your bar. I stole it and got a laugh. It's on a cunt like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I heard you join light work. No? Well, still, that is heavy, Don. Because that is shaping up to be one deadly squad. You got Harry, Danny Jack, Heretic, some other guys, repping strong. <laughs> when they meet up, they don't drink Chardonnay, but they've always got the semi on. But if I, if I get work off light work and it's light, I'm letting the semi off. Your whole team get a hole in the face like Fetty Wap. Because me, oh, I'm, cause me, I'm big round hair like Reggie Watts. Oh, that doesn't work in a Leeds accent, but I still said it. What? <laughs> you got a face like a 70s vagina. <laughs> That's an angry beaver. <laughs> and Tutu put him on his toes, that's a ballerina. Ballied up with the pipe like a Zapatista. If I can find space to trap, I'm flipping like cabin fever. Boy, you got teeth like a rodent. So you better tremble before the mighty owl. Before I grip the arm with the glove on. Kinda like an owl. <laughs> Swooping through the skies on the nightly prowl. See food and let my talents show without Simon Cow. It's like, it's like, what has this man started? I've been running out the room like his nan farted. <laughs> Boy, see these are rob his memories. These are rob his memories and leave him with a blank cartridge. And fuck his balance up like bank charges. <laughs> see my two front teeth, yeah, respect each other's space. <laughs> Yours look like they're trying to start a turf war. How about I knock them out your fucking mouth and shot them off as surfboards? Boy, your teeth point in more directions than a sat nav. <laughs> and I commiserate. Well, lucky for you, I brought the gas and drill today. Ninja Blade sent his head and body in different ways. Body left in a tub of acid to disintegrate. Head left in sync to get bigger like Timberlake. Oh. Yo. Shit. Multi-syllabic rhyme patterns. Oh. <laughs> that's the flavour. Well, if that's the case, then Harry Baker. I'll speed way past him like it's Talladega. Twin Latin 40s get to dancing like the Macarena. Leave him a ghostwriter like Frankie Fraser. See each line handcrafted by a master tailor. Nah, I put a bomb on each bar like I'm tanking Jaeger. Yo. Oh, that's See, 40... Shut up, man. Yo, 40 years from now, I'll finally be recognised for my vast intellect. They'll, they'll, they'll say I'm one of the illest ever to do it, people queuing up to give respect. They'll say that while these little plebs were referencing all the shit they've read or bullshit they dragged out the darkest corners of the internet, I was referencing shit so advanced it hadn't been written yet. And you'll be but a footnote in my illustrious rise to be a king of men, and they'll build a statue in my honour like Bill and Ted. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm thick as fuck really. So, <laughs> Hey, right, let's go and make some noise. Let's go. You said I had a face like a 70s vagina. Mm -hmm. That was so dumb. You have a face like a 70s vagina? You're an old cunt. Mm. Let's go, Harry. <laughs> See, it's Harry Baker versus Matter. Lion's haircut, that's the main event. <laughs> they said going against Matter in his hometown, I hope that you ain't placing bets. I said I came here to do two things, win a rap battle and pay my rent. And I've already, when I just moved back with my parents, we've not had that conversation yet. <laughs> See, last year I battled Ocean Leeds. Didn't go how I'd hoped in Leeds. So I told myself I'd make a list of do's and don'ts in Leeds. Do do jokes in Leeds. I've seen this dude do 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 jokes in Leeds. <laughs> you said 
<laughs> Even my mum jokes are something for reclusive tutors to study. <laughs> Proceeded to rhyme that with, I heard your mum turn blue and pooed in a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> That's poetry, man. Imagine it. He really captured the zeitgeist of the time by using the onesie. <laughs> and we think Mark also happened to say poo, because it's funny. <laughs> Well, I heard you cry every time you take a shit. <laughs> I heard that from a mate at the hostel. So you can look me in the eyes and say that it's not true, but the way Matt and Mark looks on the John, I take it as gospel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do do jokes in Leeds. <laughs> Don't get carried away in the third with wordplay and get a little too sciencey at the end. Going up against somebody called Matter, there's no way I'm doing that again. <laughs> do do flows in Leeds. I've seen this doo 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 flows in Leeds. Why? When you start rapping, do you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> you just end up sounding like a total prick. I've witnessed the guy you were trying to be who lives in a pineapple under the. <laughs> You stole your flow from Spongebob, that's how I know this square pants. <laughs> I mean, it hurts. Of course he tried to make Spongebob work for him when this turd looks like Squidward. <laughs> Spongebob boss. I just didn't know that you would take it this far. You've been a sponge your whole career by being mates with a star. Do do flows in Leeds. But if you really want to be liked in Leeds, get hype in Leeds. It seems like you have to do grime in Leeds. So now I'm in Leeds. God. <laughs> Don't do it's it. It's got tense, hasn't it? <laughs> I said it's time to flow grime shit. Now I don't condone violence or necessarily co-sign this, but I thought it would be funny to ask Pedro to ghost write this. So, silence. <laughs> No one I come back holding the crowbar. Go for the blunt knife, go for the bogart. So me and my man will get jumped like I drove in a go-kart. I might get punched till I've broken my own arms. Yeah. Using the knife, stick it right in your armpit. Moving your wife, put her right in a basket. Fucking losing your life when I'm lighting a car, but you got losing for life on the side of your glasses. What? Now I feel the energy the Pedro channels. And I got more Pedro writtens than a Pedro battle. I'd like to apologize to the grime scene as well as the party. <laughs> Alright, your poetry is shit, <laughs> and let me tell you why. Pay close attention and try to absorb every line. See all the best poets in history, alcoholics and drug addicts, and I don't think you either. You'd have the same reaction to a single sheet or as a hanky that's been dipped in ether. You, you ain't got the commitment for addiction. You're a little wiener. Well, my shit works on many levels like a window cleaner. Listen, geez. <laughs> Let's go. You ain't a hardened alky like Charles Bukowski. Mm. The only time you're splitting that white is eating half a bounty. How the, fuck, <laughs> how the fuck am I supposed to listen to these shit concoctions by some skinny toff that's never even had a drinking problem? See, I saw the best... <laughs> never had a drinking problem. Yeah? Yo, I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed. Staring at empty bottles facing the void The best minds in your circle got generous funding Sent to discussions and seminars Company credit card, hell of a budget You never faced no pressure for nothing Daddy kept the kid loaded How's that old saying go? Come on, all you pricks know it Pressure creates diamonds And lack of pressure creates shit poets See, <laughs> see poetry is supposed to feel like you almost died With your life flashing before your eyes But yours is like a morning drive In the countryside under urban skies Poetry is supposed to provide Folk thought, even ignite a movement, but you seem to be content with fucking mild amusement. You write poems for couples that give each other pedicures, or, or, or guys that use a beard as a substitute for a set of balls. So, <laughs> so 
So fuck your metaphors, you never met a force that made you redirect your course, you just make up numbers on set. That's what we need these extras for. See, Earl mm. looks at you and sees that pseudo intellectual money, that Guardian money, that Edinburgh Festival money. And then, and there was you thinking you was the bestest of buddies. Sad fact, your boy Rowan's just following the pound sign like a hashtag. Yo, in this ring here, the gods reside. Tales of war to be heard through the ages. But what you posh poets bring into the table? You aren't even reserved any spaces. It's time this pop-up shop shut shop on a permanent basis. Yo, and before I neck to the bar, sorry, before I head to the bar to neck a couple shots, I got some shit to say, and I don't care if I get judged or not. I realize this might not be the best platform to push this on, but fuck it. Jeremy Corbyn is a fucking don. Yeah. They're like... Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 and they're all like, what's with the left wing shit? Matt is stuck in a head trip. He's flogging a dead horse. Better than fucking a dead pig. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a good poet without pressure. I need to see my life flash before my eyes. I had the balls to come here in Leeds and try performing grime. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I said it's owl joke time. <laughs> it's ironic you need a head wig when you look like Harry Potter and his owl combined. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. You have irritable owl syndrome. <laughs> Alcatraz is the love child of the Birdman and Al Capone. Mm. See, I was going to leave this owl alone, but this is where it gets beak for you. <laughs> I hear he likes to chat out birds on Twitter. Matter likes to tweet to woo. <laughs> he boasts a country house with scenic views, occupies the cleanest roofs, offers them a place to stay if they wanted to sleep with you, if only they could see the truth. <laughs> you ain't got barns like that. <laughs> You're an owl that looks like a turtle, bruv. Your barns type whack. <laughs> and women are not mice. There's something that you can't quite catch. Because you don't get no Tinder matches. <laughs> Girls don't think he is attractive. Bio says he's sick of rapping because he thinks that this has traction. Nah, it's a little tragic if you see this kid in action. His idea of witty banter, I'll just call them bitches faggots. <laughs> has to beg they'll dip their standards. Says that he'll pay if he has to. Notice that there is a pattern. Realise on that pity factor. Now it's got me thinking back to solid gas, liquid plasma. If you want to force dates, that's just how it is with matter. Mm. See, unlike your previous opponents, I actually like science. You tell girls I'm called matter and it's actually like science. <laughs> so if I say you're dark matter, that's a bit of a pretense. You're more like the center of a black hole, you are infinitely dense. Mm. <laughs> but I think we all know matter consists of particles. So if his phone rings and he claims that the particles, we know that his evening consists of particles. <laughs> Because you called your album Greasy Spoon Rendezvous. That sounds like a cuddle after he's just used lots of lube. <laughs> but let's talk about your music. I mean, it ain't exactly passionate. I knew I'd get bored hearing that you sounded like you got bored rapping it. Mm. Maybe it's the creativity that lacks in it. Maybe it's that you can't differentiate the tracks in it. But if there's any scrutiny to which we subject matter, you realize very quickly there's no subject matter in battles. You're a glorified mum drug rapper on tracks and, oh, look at me, a puff smoke swagger. <laughs> <laughs> but you are funny in your doubles matches. You're great when you're one of two rappers. I just think this Wookiee needs a hand solo. That's Chewbacca. <laughs> and I had a whole set. <laughs> And you, you had the audacity to mock youth for his attempts at changing the system. So they ain't stupid enough to believe that music will make any difference. Mate, you're an idiot. And a whole bit about this, but you did the Jeremy Corbyn thing, so let's just kill it. Oh, sorry, Mum. It's fine. No, you, you were a good human, so <laughs> undermine my bit saying you weren't a good I'm human. Trying. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.
Ow. Ow. I left him, man, and let Ow him. Hey, hey. Well, peace soldiers gonna have to throw the towel in. <laughs>